Hi, Carl here with GMAS, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through everything that there is to know about GMAS's powerful mail merge capabilities for text. I'm going to show you step by step how to set up mail merges yourself for your campaigns, and I'm going to show you some interesting use cases for them. I'm also going to troubleshoot some common issues that you might run into when using mail merge yourself. To set up mail merge for your campaign, you must first start by opening a Google Sheet. Why? Well, GMAS's mail merge works by connecting a Google Sheet that holds all of the unique information that we'd like to use for our recipients and then pulls that information live when sending out your campaign. Let's say that I'd like to make an email campaign to promote my custom candle business. I would start by naming my Google Sheet something relevant to my campaign like candle promotion. This is going to make it easier to find our Google Sheet later on when we connect it to GMAS. But I also wanted to mention that if you already have an existing Google Sheet of contacts, you can use that too. Next, I would add in all the names and email addresses for my mail list using the first row as headings for each column of information. The magic about using a Google Sheet for mail merge is that every new column heading that we put into the sheet becomes a new unique mail merge tag that we can use in our email. So depending on how well I know my mail list, I can get creative and add in new mail merge tags like favorite scent and candle size to use in my email. Depending on what you're offering in your email, you can get as creative as you need to create any mail merge tags that you think would spice up your email. We've seen people use mail merge tags for things like unique promotional codes, country specific offers, shoe sizes, favorite TV shows, favorite sports teams. As long as you know what information to fill in for each recipient, the possibilities are literally endless. Now that I've completed filling in my sheet, we're going to connect it to GMAS. To do that, we're going to hop over to Gmail and then we're going to select this red GMAS icon. Now we just need to find the name of the sheet we just created and connect it to GMAS. Once we've connected our sheet, you'll see that GMAS automatically opens an email draft with all of your recipient's email addresses in one custom GMAS address in the to field. I know, it's super convenient, right? Now we can draft out the email for our campaign and use our custom mail merge tags wherever they're needed. Since our sheet has every recipient's first name, we can start by adding that here by opening a bracket and then selecting first name. Side note, if there's ever any information that you don't know for a recipient, we can actually set fallback values in our mail merge tags to account for these blanks. To add a fallback value, just add a pipe after your mail merge tag field name and then fill in your fallback option. Then if GMAS can't detect any information for that recipient, it'll just use the fallback option instead. Carrying on, I'm also going to add in my mail merge tags for each recipient's favorite scent and candle size. After doing one last check and making sure that everything looks fine, we're going to send the campaign by clicking the red GMAS button. Please definitely don't use the traditional blue send button, otherwise none of this is going to work. GMAS will now send out our campaign and each recipient will receive their own fully personalized individual email. I know it can sound like quite a mouthful to take in all at once, but as you use mail merge more and more, it'll become a second nature and a vital part of your campaigns. Before we move on to troubleshooting, here are a couple bonus pointers for text mail merge. You can use your mail merge tags in your auto follow-ups too. You can use mail merge tags to create custom subject lines for each of your recipients. You can also use mail merge tags to create entire paragraphs unique to each of your recipients. Now, I'd like to troubleshoot some common issues that many of our users have faced when using mail merge for text. If you're having trouble with mail merge, make sure that you add yourself to the Google Sheet and then send yourself a test email before sending out your campaign. Then if something doesn't look right or isn't connecting, double check these three things. Check that you haven't changed or deleted any info or column headers in the Google Sheet. Check that there aren't any accidental spaces in your mail merge tag brackets. And make sure that you send using the red GMAS button and not the blue send button. If after all of these checks, you're still having trouble getting your mail merge tags to work, then please reach out to GMAS support and then we'll take a closer look and smoke out the cords. And that's it, mail merge mastery unlocked. With GMAS, you're now ready to personalize every email, automate like a pro and make each of your recipients feel like they're your one and only. Whether it's a thousand names or unique offers for each recipient, GMAS lets you create tailored, impactful campaigns with ease. But we've only just scratched the surface of what mail merge can really do. 
You can also use it to send personalized images, links, and attachments like PDF files to your recipients. We'll be making videos for each of those really soon, so stay tuned. Now go on, give it a spin and see just how powerful your emails can really be.